Many people nowadays are interested in psychology. Is this knowledge useful only for psychologists and psychiatrists and therapists? Let's find out. Hi, this is Bastian Antonowicz. On my 5-minute psychology channel, I talk about psychology, mental health and self-development. Today it's going to be a very special episode. Some of you have asked me on my channel if psychology is only for psychologists, psychotherapists and maybe psychiatrists. Or perhaps is it useful for people of other professions? So, today I have decided to invite one person who uses psychology in their everyday life. Today our guest speaker is Martin. I'm going to ask him a couple of questions regarding psychology so that we can check if he can use it on a regular basis. Hello Martin. Hi Sebastian. Thank you very much for joining us here today. Martin, I know you work for an IT company but also you have graduated in philosophy. Is that correct? I'm graduated in philosophy and IT at the Nikolaus Copernicus University in Torn. I know you have a very thorough education in the field of philosophy and you also have a degree in information technology and I also know that you are an active English learner. So what does a typical day of a person like you look like? Currently I'm working at Atos as a packaging consultant and I'm making uh, scripts in PowerShell language to install many applications remotely, mostly in the United Kingdom, for the United Kingdom clients. Right, so at work you use both your IT skills, your philosophy knowledge and your English skills, which for you is a second language that you are studying currently. Uh, I have also noticed that you are a very active member on my 5 Minutes Psychology channel. Does it mean that you are interested in philosophy, IT, languages, as well as psychology? I think psychology appears to be an interesting topic in my life because it uh, helping me to understand people which I'm dealing with and uh, help me to talk to them and help me to understand their behaviors and uh, to my behavior too. And sometimes I'm discovering many interesting solutions. Right, so you use your IT knowledge as well as the English language, which is a foreign language for you. And it means that you're interested in philosophy, IT, the English language, as well as psychology. So tell us, what does this 5-Minute Psychology channel give you? How can you use it? How can it benefit? And recently, when I was watched uh, your movies in your YouTube channel, I discovered many interesting methods and techniques to dealing with stress and uh, to dealing with people at work to be more efficient. I'm very glad to hear that psychology I talk about in my 5-Minute Psychology channel is so useful for you, that it has so many practical applications. Um, but let's stick for a moment to philosophy, if you will. Um, perhaps you've heard that both psychology and philosophy, they share common grounds. Uh, many scientists say that psychology stems from philosophy. Is it how you see it yourself? Hmm, what does psychology have to do with philosophy? You know, I think they have the same topic, but the topic of uh, philosophy is wider because uh, philosophy dealing with the, not only with the people, not only with the human being, but uh, with the universe, with the God, with the mind um, categories like good, evil, uh, beauty. Uh, philosophy asking many questions regarding not only human being but regarding the world and uh, human status in this world. There are many uh, philosophy, many philosophers which had uh, another point of view for the uh, status of the human being in the world. 
But the psychology, I think psychology is the daughter of the philosophy because the philosophy, you can call philosophy the mother of all, uh, all sciences. Uh, and uh, psychology dealing with the human being, but regard, regarding uh, human being behaviors. It's helped to understand the behavior behavior of the um, human beings and it helps to connect people together and it helps to um, understand sometimes that human behavior is very strange to us <clears throat> and when you study uh, psychology you can understand it and you can accept it and it's easy to live in world with uh, another people to with th with this understanding i guess agreed philosophy is much wider than psychology and it concentrates on some aspects that are not important for psychology like the concept of good and evil psychologists do not do that they do not evaluate their patients as either good or bad people we just study their behaviors we analyze them we try to figure out where they come from and how can we make them better. So regardless of the fact that psychology and philosophy are so closely connected, what are the biggest differences between these two from your perspective? Basically what I know is the difference between methods of both sciences. Psychology experiments and studies human behavior under normal conditions but also under artificially created conditions philosophy on the other hand works in the world of ideas on the basis of experimental data it tries to extract something more something that you cannot uh, see it looks for universal principles relating to the world and to the people. To put it on, in another way, the subject of psychology is more visible than the subject of philosophy, I think. I think you're right. Psychology is a highly experimental science, much more than philosophy, of course. Um, I've known you for a couple of years already and you come across as a person who is very highly self-motivated, who never gives up, is this what you get out of studying philosophy and psychology? Yes, this is interesting question, Sebastian. But I think the knowledge of philosophy allowed me to conclude that time plays a very important role in human life. It can not be impatient. Many values are gained slowly through practice and repetition. I think there is no way around. In every day we're struggling with the problems of uh, life. It is worth remembering that uh, we cannot change the whole world by ourselves. However, we can change uh, ourselves and this requires from us time and systematic work on it. So perfecting yourself changes the key to success. That sounds very profound. So is there any other place for improvement in your life? Yeah, you're asking about the developing. Yeah, developing psychology knowledge, it's, it's a value for me. Uh, but uh, still, I have to remember about the time because in daily basis, I have many work to do working at Atos, working at home, dealing with my daughter and um, making many other activities. So sometimes I have to procrastinate to reading a book, but I have a list of books that I want to read in the future. And I'm trying to do this, uh, not only reading a book uh, physically, but listening the book sometimes. There are lists of the books from philosophy, 
and regarding the psychology too and regarding universe <coughs> that that they are waiting for reading but yes i'm i decided many years ago to develop myself and i'm trying to do this if life uh, let it let me do it so psychology is another part of uh, my um, my topics to develop well something tells me that even if life decides to try and stop you from developing yourself you will find a way around it and you will keep developing yourself further and further but tell me Marcin what kind of a person could benefit from learning about psychology uh, by, for example, watching my videos on 5 Minute Psychology channel? Which aspect or which topic that I cover could be the most useful for them? Uh, I think everybody can benefit from learning more about psychology. For example, developing my own knowledge of psychology is, of course, very useful in life. It allows me to understand other people's behavior, but also to observe my own behaviors. A recent example for me was watching your video regarding Donor Kruger effect. I began to realize that I too am sometimes I'm often overconfident on some things. And now having this new knowledge, I can observe myself and weaken my radical judgments. So that psychological knowledge allows me to change myself and look other people with the greater understanding of their behavior. It develops tolerance towards other people, of course. Oh yeah, psychology does a great job as an eye-opener. And tell me, Marcin, what piece of advice would you give to people who, like yourself, are learners of the English language? Hmm. Okay, so be brave. Don't afraid to learn language. Don't afraid to speak in this language. Uh, try to go out of your box and try to speak with uh, with the native speakers this is sometimes very uh, very hard because we are ashamed to speak <coughs> uh, with native speakers because of our errors so don't afraid to make mistakes and be systematic to you have to be systematic to learn uh, language. Uh, back to the material uh, as many times as you can, but not for a long time, about few minutes daily. And never stop to learn. Oh yeah, so being systematic is a key to success. I think I totally agree with that. Anyways, thank you very much for joining us here today, Marcin. I really appreciate you sharing your experience with all of us. Thank you very much, Sebastian, for this interesting interview and goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed very much this interview. It's really interesting in how many areas of life we can use psychology and you do not have to be a psychologist to be interested in psychology. Let me know in the comments if you would like to participate in one of my interviews and I'll see you next time.